It happened. I had to, I blinked a few times and then, no, this is real. And it just ran over there. It was just like you see in the movies. It's crazy. A plane crashes in Moanalua, narrowly missing the freeway. Witnesses describe the harrowing moments right before that plane came down. And let's get straight to what we know about the crash. Three people were on board and they all got out before the plane burst into flames. They were taken to the hospital in serious condition. We looked through FAA records and learned the plane is a Piper Cherokee built in 1971. And many of you learned about this as breaking news through a push alert we sent to you, taking you to our website with this viewer video. You can see a bird's eye view of exactly where the plane went down, right there under the Moanalua Freeway. Moanalua Gardens right on the other side of the freeway. And Bridget Namata begins our team coverage tonight. She's on the scene where she spoke with witnesses and rescuers. Hi, Bridget. Marissa, the plane crashed directly underneath the freeway bridge. Drivers are literally driving directly above the wreckage. Had it crashed just a few feet higher, witnesses tell me the outcome could have been much different. It happened around 1.15 this afternoon. Witnesses tell me they were stunned as they watched the single-engine Piper Cherokee plane hurdle, then crash onto the rocks into the Moanalua stream. One witness was paralyzed with shock. Another quickly sprang into action. One Good Samaritan was the first to arrive at the crash site, which is right between the Moanalua mortuary and the Texaco gas station. He found three men who authorities say are in their 20s on board. He was going straight down. And then I, I came over and I look at it, and then I was thinking, oh, I know he was aiming for going on the river, but he didn't make it to the river. He made it to the water rocks over there and underneath a freeway. I just ran full speed as fast as I could to get over there. Got there. Plane was already on fire. There was three occupants in there. Um, all three were conscious. One of them had a pretty good gash up by his eye, and I don't know, it looked like internal bleeding. They were bleeding out of their mouths. So kind of, all, kind of, all three of them? All three of them, yeah. So, um, But they were able to move their bodies by themselves a little bit. I just helped. I got them, pulled them out of the plane, uh, and then as soon as we got them out of the plane, because it was on fire, we got them near the, pulled them over to the edge of the canal. Miraculously, the men walked away from the crash site with serious, not critical injuries. The Honolulu Fire Department said it arrived to see the plane engulfed in flames and smoke. It took about 15 minutes to bring the flames down. An investigation is ongoing to find out exactly what caused the crash. You can see investigators have been here all afternoon. Reporting live from the crash site at the Moanalua Stream, Bridget Namata, KHON 2 News. Bridget, thank you. And again, the three men on board were all rushed to the Queens Medical Center in serious condition. And that's where Manolo Morales is right now. Manolo. Well, Marissa, yes, the three, pe the three men remain here at Queens Medical Center, remain under observation. And what we're hearing more than anything else is just how lucky they are that they were able to walk away with just minor injuries. Now, EMS tells me that the pilot was actually 20 years old and the two other people with him, the two passengers, are in their 20s. Now, they were all conscious when they were brought here to the hospital and paramedics treated them at the scene and the injuries were all minor. One had back pain and some had uh, a cut to the forehead, a small cut, and some had cuts in their mouth. Now, considering what and where this happened, officials say the three men are incredibly lucky. In my 31 years in this business, it's extremely rare to have a plane crash in urban Honolulu. Uh, everybody is fortunate today to come out of it with serious injuries, but nothing critical. The three men also told officials that they took off from Honolulu Airport, airport and lost power soon after takeoff. Now, the pilot did, did all he could to avoid the buildings and cars when they crashed under the freeway. Now, they remain at the hospital, even though the injuries are minor. I've been told that doctors still want to have them go through tests before releasing them. Manola Morales, KHON, 2 News.
Well, all in all, today was a typical summer day in Hawaii with no indications that any weather conditions were out of the ordinary for flights coming in and moving out of the Honolulu Airport. The Honolulu Airport's about three miles from the crash site, and the airport itself is the closest weather sensors that we have to that crash site. Visibility was clear, 10 miles. No rain in the vicinity, but it was gusty, and the National Weather Service issued an alert that gusty winds would be moving over the Ko'olau Mountains and accelerating down the leeward sides of those valleys and the Ko'olaus. The advisory is called an Air Met Tango, and it specifically deals with moderate turbulence and winds that are about 30 knots or more, or 35 miles per hour. Air Met Tangos are quite common when trades are on the stronger side, and we often see this advisory posted. But other than that, no irregular weather patterns today for the islands that would be dangerous for flights. Marissa, back to you. Thank you, Justin. And we first told you about the plane crash through a push alert. We were also the first to upload video for you to view. And to get push alerts, just download our free KHON2 mobile app. And we will also keep you up to date on any new developments about this crash on air and online at khon2.com.